Hello everybody, welcome back to another AI video. In this one, we're in Wonder Studio by Wonder Dynamics and I wanna show you some absolutely crazy stuff. Uh, it is still in beta and I was just accepted today so you may want to request access. I don't think there's a long wait time anymore but let me show you something amazing. Basically, you can take any scene and replace an actor with CGI and it's literally one click done in a browser. Let me show you an asset here of mine. So in this case, I've got some big Lebowski. Let me run it for you. I'll hit play and show you the scene. I'll tell you what I'm blathering about. I've got information, man. Like he's got information, man, but I can show you how to turn that into this. Watch this. I'll tell you what I'm blathering about. I've got information, man. Yeah, in one click. It's pretty wild. And you can do a whole bunch of other things like mocap, blender, and clean plate, and all those other fancy things. Camera tracking's coming. Uh, alpha masks, all that fancy CGI stuff, but at the end of the day, you want something that's easy to use, browser-based, doesn't cost a lot of money, uh, one-clicky type thing. Here we go. So let me show you how I did it. So we're inside, so you just, if you are on this page, just click on request access if you don't have access or log in. Once you're in, you want to go to create a new project, and then you're going to basically just go ahead and click continue. It says live action, but right now, because it's in beta, there's not a whole heck of a lot you can do. This is the scene, or this is the uh, look that you're you're going to get when you hit the uh, the button there. Now we're going to drag and drop in our own video. So we can upload our own video. So I've got a video here selected. It's just a, some maniac guy laughing from Big Lebowski. I'm going to drag and drop it and I'm going to put it right over top of this square here. Do note that you can't drag in and drop it on top of it. It's got to be pretty exact. Okay. It's already ingested the footage and here we go. Now I'm going to click on it and I'm going to drag it into the middle. And when you do that, you'll see here that it's gone ahead and just loaded it into the uh, program monitor, so to speak. <laughs> yeah, so we got that weird dude doing weird laughing stuff. Okay. Now, here's where it gets really good. At the top here, it just sort of guides you. It's on rails. I'm going to click next. And uh, now we can go ahead and select the actor. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and click down here. It says scan frame for actors. And this is very, very good. It's going to go ahead and find him in a quick second or two. And then presto, you'll see here that it's kind of drawn a rectangle around him. And it's done a very good job. It has identified this mannequin as an actor, but whatever. That doesn't matter. It's drawn a good mask. I'm going to click on it. And then I'm going to now go to the right side and select one of these templates. You can upload your character if you know what you're doing. But for most of us, we just want to get going and roll through this. So I'm going to go ahead and hover over a couple of these. And you'll see here there's a few different styles. I don't know. Let's go with maybe this. Well, there's a, there's even styles over here that you can't see, but they're there. Uh, it's, again, it's in beta, so nothing, I'm sure they'll work out the kink here, but I like this kind of style here, that little Banksy look here. I'm going to click on it, and then I'm just going to drag and drop it on top. When I do that, we're now going to see up at the top here that we can click the next button, and this is when it gets interesting, because now we can select to render out that composition, so that weird actor person is going to be rendered out as that robot. We can do 720, 1080p, and uh, PNG and a few of these you can click on if you're really good and you know what you're doing um, clean plate mocap motion cap capture but I'm just gonna go ahead and click start processing on the lower resolution actually just go to 1080p takes a little longer not gonna lie um, and then up here at the top left you're gonna see here that it's preparing the object and it's going to do that I'm gonna come back when it's done and show you what we got and that's it all right be back shortly all right, everybody, here we go. Here's what we got. It's pretty wild. I'm not going to lie. When it play, check this out. <laughs> yes, it was even smart enough to realize that there were two different shots, and it's the same guy in the two different positions with Lebowski there on the left side. This is amazing technology. It's browser base. It's in beta right now, so it's free to use. If you get in, give it a crack. It is wild. Thanks for watching.